Mr. Speaker, I'd like to yield three minutes to the gentlewoman from Michigan, Ms. McLean. Gentlewoman from Michigan is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in support of the Schools Not Shelter Act. This bill will protect our student safety and our schools, ensuring that they're, they're used for learnings. I don't know if anyone's recently looked, but the, the scores of math are down. The scores of reading are down. This, will, this bill will make sure that our schools, I'll say it again, are used for learning, not to house illegal aliens crossing our southern border. The decision of local officials in New York City and elsewhere to house illegal aliens at school threatens the safety of our students. We wouldn't need this bill if President Biden did his job and secured the southern border. See, I'm open to talking about immigration reform, but we must secure our southern border. They, they are not one and the same. They are different. We, schools should never let a stranger come into a school without ID. I know when I go into my daughter's school, I have to show ID. What is happening now is we are letting illegals into our school with no idea who these illegals are. They haven't been vetted at the border. Background checks haven't been, been, been run. We don't know who's coming into our schools. Could we at least employ the same type of, of verification that we do for legal American citizens? I, I, I mean, it, it doesn't make sense. Schools are not hotels. They are for education. When declaring New York's statute a, a, a sanctuary state, New York officials should have been a little bit better prepared for the mass number of migrants in a different manner and not throw the problems on our children's schools. I find it's funny how they have an opinion on the southern border, but yet when, when the sanctuary city receives um, illegal migrants, oh my goodness, they're all up in arms. And they release, receive those migrants at a much lower rate than their border cities. Democrats are playing politics with people's lives instead of providing a quality education. And they're more focused on spending your taxpayer money on illegals and telling your kids what pronouns they should be. We have a math and reading problem. Perhaps we should focus our attention educationally there. Pass this bill today, protect our children, and keep criminals out of our schools. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back. 